Okay. Okay. SB200 having a little wafer switch problem. I'm going to switch the uh, the band switch with, and uh, I'm not sure the sound is right. Let's have a listen. Uh, there's a metallic click it makes on occasion. Uh, I tighten the loose shaft nut and uh, now these two front wafers are not torquing a little as it's turned. Let's see. Now hear that click? It only does that click on occasion. I started at 80, I'm at uh, 20 now. Sorry for the jitter here, it's hard to hold a bunch of stuff up while I'm doing this here, let's see. Okay, 15, no, 20, 15, 10, 15, 20, 40, and you heard a click there, with only that click, 80. Back to 40, 20, back to 40, and the click and <clears throat> here's a close-up of that uh, trying not to block the light you can see that the uh, go that way with the light a little bit uh, maybe come this way yeah that's keep coming keep coming keep coming all right hold on so you can see the bearing ball bearing pop out each time that goes past I don't I can't keep my head in there or I block the light. But it seems to be the ball bearings notching and it's stopping at the right position. But I only hear this click, that click, when it goes through the 40. There's another time. Now see between those two positions I'm hearing the click. Not that time. Got it. No click. No click. No click. Click. No click click so I don't know where along here to, to, to fix that or to try and adjust for that I did adjust the tighten the shaft nut there that was loose and I tightened that nut because there was a little bit of torquing so uh, anyway everything looks good back here and the, the rods nice and firm there's a little play you know tiny little bit of movement to it but there's got to be some so it can fit into those wafer slots but anyway so hopefully somebody can give me some insight you can watch the wafers move there get a little more light on that there There's the click. See, it's still just doing the click occasionally. I think it's stiffer to turn than it should be, and I'm afraid to lubricate in any wrong place. You know, so uh, I would take uh, any hints on uh, any tips anybody can give me if there are some lubrication points uh, along here that I could. Could, uh, or should do as I did notice one thing the knob would come loose every so often I'd have to retighten it and I think that's because it's too tough to turn so hopefully this video and those little bit of insights that I gave can give somebody the information they need to in turn tell me how to fix my SB200 band switch thank you for watching